Thank you very much. Great to see all of you here tonight. Uh, the definition of Latin jazz uh, is really that we can play anything we want. So uh, we do that, and we thought you'd enjoy that one. We have some Beatles fans in here, probably. Yeah, I know, okay. Well, we'll get to the Jackson 5 in a little bit, but uh, first we want to bring up this next person. Uh, I've watched her groan since she was a freshman singing with us down at Havana 59, and uh, recording came out of that and a lot of great, great memories. And so for her first number, please welcome to the stage Hannah Jacobson. Anna Jacobson. There's some people out there who would like to move. I, I can sense that. And not just my class. I don't mean move out of here. Uh, if you want to dance, I'm sure the aisles are fine uh, to move. Henri will be over there. He'll be taking a uh, uh, toll. If you need to dance, pay him $5. Anyway, we're going to go now. <laughs> and I'm going to stop talking. And we're going to go... Uh, do a tune by Miles Davis, and uh, I'm sure you'll probably recognize this from his 1959 album, Kind of Blue. Uh, tomorrow, they're coming out with a, an epic recording. They're trying to redo the Kind of Blue album, 
and they're gonna, uh, it's going to be released uh, tomorrow, so that's going to be kind of weird. But uh, anyway, I look forward to that. So here's So What from the Kind of Blue. <laughs>
All right, thank you very much. Hannah Jacobson. She actually did, uh, she did quite well for forgetting the words. It's pretty good, Hannah. All right, and please say hi to somebody who sounds like a food and a place. Alfredo Santiago on alto and flute. All right, you've, you've also heard from somebody who is just the most amazing sax player in the whole world. And yes, his name is J.C. Cool. All right, so, uh, you know, in 1959 to 1972, they called uh, Motown Detroit uh, time, and that's where uh, Barry Gordy and the, the team were writing all those hits, especially for the Jackson 5. So uh, I thought, why not, huh? And uh, is Mike Spear here? I'm not sure, but this is how Mike... Mike learned uh, his ABCs and his 1, 2, 3 from the Jackson 5. Baby, one, two, three. And we hope you like it. This is called I'll Be There. So you better be ready. I may ask for some audience participation, so just be ready.
now and I hear you and I'll be there you can make up your own part too and I'll be there keep it going now and I'll be there louder Craig and I'll be there How'd you do? <laughs> All right. And uh, you've heard him play already tonight. Please say hi on piano to Tyler Tillage. There's two things, uh, three things I like about Tyler. One is the way he plays piano. He graduated from here a year ago, two years ago. Oh my gosh, he's getting old. Going to have children soon. And then. Uh, the other thing is his name, you know, Tippecanoe Tip and Tyler Tillage, too. I've always wanted to have that as my name. But the third thing is, is his job, he designs and works for Victoria's Secrets. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> what kind of a job is that? We train people here at the U of R to go out and do jobs like that. You've got to love it. So, Okay, uh, let's, isn't that, that's the truth, right? Okay, maybe just making it up. All right, what do we got next? All right, we got something by Coldplay. I'm sure you recognize this. Please bring, uh, please say welcome again to Hannah Jacobson on vocal.
chicken claws and I'd come back and take you home I could not stop that you now know singing come out of things unsaid shoot an apple off my head and a trouble that can't be probably know uh, the best-selling jazz tune of all time, Take Five. For years, I was consumed with this piece because it was in 5-4, and I thought everybody in the planet knew the name of this piece was because it was in 5-4. I didn't realize that everybody else thought it meant take a break. So anyway, uh, I've come around full circle, and this is a... Uh, a piece written by Paul Desmond and for the Dave Brubeck uh, uh, group. And we decided to do our own version. There's a great Brazilian pianist out called Eliane, Eliane Elias. And uh, this is our own sh slow version of Take Five. Do 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 do
Jacobson, yeah. Woo! All right. And you know, uh, I'm from Wisconsin, she's from Seattle, and I think both of those are the hotbeds in the United States for Latin music. <laughs> so, right, JP? Yeah, I think that's how it works. Anyway, <laughs> right after Alaska, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to, you want to sing one more? All right, uh, we, we do Latin jazz. Seriously, it's a combination of American jazz, Afro-Cuban music, and Afro-Brazilian music. And in the 50s, it was really just Cuba and the United States just sharing their musics. And then in the 60s, a guy named Tom Jobim came along and started writing all those hits. Uh, Quiet Nights and Desifinado and Girl from Ipanema. And we're going to do one for you now called Agua de Beber, which means water for drinking. Here's Hannah one more time.
Anna Jacobson. Yeah, Anna. All right, we're just going to rock out here. Is that okay? All right. Sort of, anyway. <laughs> as much as we can. Uh, this is a tune written many, many years ago, first recorded by the Drifters. But uh, George Benson got a hold of it, and... Uh, uh, I fell in love with it, and we call it, instead of On Broadway, we call it On Broad Street. We hope you enjoy it.
Tyler Tillage on piano. Tyler Tillage, woo! All right, you know we have a veritable United Nations up here. We've got almost every country in the world represented. We've got Germany, Italy, Ireland, England, Puerto Rico, and also the great country of Louisiana. Andrew Schutte graduated a few years ago as a music major here. We're very proud of him, and now he's an attorney. Andrew Schutte on bass. What do you think, huh? All right, we're going to feature the other guys, the guys who look at our best side for the whole concert. And uh, there are our drum section back there. Who can do without them? Yeah, go ahead. All right, Kip Williams is kind of a local legend, and uh, he's everywhere. Every time you see his name, please go see him play. So Kip Williams on drums. <laughs> Santos Ramirez on congas. I just like saying his name. Yeah, Santos. <laughs> All right, you know, uh, we've got one more rhythm section player, the... Uh, Alfredo snuck over there. You see him? Everybody see him over there? He's dressed in white. <laughs> you can't miss him. <laughs> All right, he did this next arrangement, and we're going to take, take you through a number of different uh, Cuban styles, and that should be fun, especially since it's really uh, written by Chick Corea, and it's really a samba. <laughs> so we're going to try to figure that one out along the way. Uh, I first recorded it with uh, Return to Forever in the 70s, and it's really become a standard. Uh, the first part, if you're writing here, everybody, is we're going to do two separate meters. So the rhythm section are going to have one tempo, and Tyler and I are going to have another tempo, and Shooty is going to think about his financial situation. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. It's called Spain. Thank 
Wow. All right. Everybody okay? Oh, man. That was a rough one. I don't see anybody dancing. I see people moving, but uh, there's still room for one more couple on the dance floor. Feelings. <laughs> All right. This next tune, Footprints, written by Wayne Shorter. He's one of my favorite composers, one of my favorite jazz composers. Uh, Played a lot, played all over, played with the Weather Report, and has written some very important tunes. Uh, this is one of them. We hope you enjoy it. It's called Footprints.
That guy can play flute. <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you so much for coming out tonight. And uh, this uh, group, most of this group, plays every week, every Wednesday night from 7 to 10 at Mona's out in the West Broad Village. And I know people say, well, where is that? And I say, well, it's by Trader Joe's. And they obviously they know where that is so it's out there come on and see us we have a lot of fun out there all right we're going to do one more for you and this tune was actually written by tito puente and when tito puente was asked wow how do you feel that everybody in the world thinks that santana wrote this piece he says well it bothered me till i started getting the royalty checks <laughs> so that's good thank you so much give yourselves a big hand here we go oh yeah como va